Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. What is thy name? Crash Master. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Crash Master. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Uh, um, what? Oh, oh, hey, hey, no, 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 my phone, my phone, no, 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 What, what the, what's going on? Okay, okay, this is weird, this is... Oh. Uh, thanks. Wake up! Oh god! Oi! Do you wake up, won't you? Oh! Are you alive, my boy? Huh? What is that? Huh? Where... Am I? Whoa, what the heck is that thing? You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. Thank goodness, you seemed unharmed. Um, where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. <laughs> uh, subtlety. Dear me, did you shock on your fall somehow, I addle your memory? I must say, your clothing is... unusual. You wouldn't happen to be an acquaintance in... You wanna, uh, in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Um, no, not really. Or at least I don't think so. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, somehow I guess. Always managed to do before, so... What's different about this 
No. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Go! <laughs> Foom! Plish plash! Plish plash! Really? Ashawan isn't even in water, and somehow he makes the noises plish plash. Shouldn't he be saying like Asha Asha or something like that, right? Oh my! I completely forgotten. I just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when I caught up. Uh, because it's so weird, much. I'm sorry. I keep repeating this this first uh the first one because it it's like weird like that. When you tumbled out of the sky, it's almost as if they knew you appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Crash Master. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. <laughs> well, not exactly, sir. <laughs> Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a po Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Oh, oh god. And there they go, professor. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three! Wait! Oh dear. Okay, so I uh, I guess I should go help him. But <laughs> why? So I am uh, I've I've literally no idea. Was he said I fell from the sky? So I did. I, is he? Maybe it's the sun getting to him. I didn't come in this boat. I guess I'm not with anybody. I have literally no idea. First person point of view, that's not bad. I like that feature. So, uh, yeah, mates, welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. This, did, this game actually did come out a while ago, and, um, I gotta say, when it first came out, I don't know why, but this just wanted, this just made me kind of want to get back into the world of Pokemon again. Honestly, I was a fan for quite a while. I'm just gonna, before, also, I don't know what that's about, and that's kind of a, it's interesting me. It's kind of calling me to it. I don't know why. But, uh, just to get a roundup on my history of Pokemon Mites, I do actually, I actually did watch some of the more earlier anime. Not really fully consistent, but it, the anime really kind of pulled me in, into like, I think it was black and white, um, into that part of the, um, the Pokemon story, uh, well, in the anime, and then it was really up until XY and XYZ, where I was really, really, really liking the series, but then when Sun and Moon dropped, I wasn't exactly on board with it. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just like me kind of liking X and Y and XYZ a bit too much. Maybe it was like just the the sort of reboot feeling of it after I felt like that story was so crazy and amazing. And now it just kind of felt hollow. I don't know. It's one of the things where the anime and kind of the manga never really got consistency. It's just always kind of a reboot. And what the heck is that thing? There's a glowing, beeping object over there. And I do have my own Pokemon cards. I actually have a lot that I haven't even opened up, like boxes of other things I haven't even opened up. Because honestly, I don't really have anybody to really, that I know has Pokemon cards or can play with in general. So I kind of just keep it in a box, more or less. Um, that's pretty much it for me. Pokemon, after that point in the anime, has kind of been kind of a turn off point, I suppose. But uh, with this new game, I don't know. Something just... It just kind of like, I, I just, I, I, it just interested me enough, I guess. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. I guess. I guess that's, uh, oh, okay. You know what? I've been, I've been speaking a lot. Lately, uh, I should probably go catch up. Oh, okay, it looks like uh, pro the Professor Lavatin uh, didn't get too far. Okay. 
Alas, yet another miss. Ah, aha! I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways, but tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell ye about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Oh, <laughs> look at him, he's so cute! Crow! He just says crow! Or crew, maybe. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or ir- um, ir rate. Boom! <laughs> there we go. Right there. And, yep, I know- I know- I actually know these three pretty- um, like, Oshawa and Cyndaquil, I know them a bit better than, um, than the other one. But, um, and then Rowlet, but I, I, I know of them pretty well, because another one I actually did forget to mention, Mullets, is that I do play Pokemon Go, still a little bit every now and then, too, um, and I, I, I just kind of just uh, kind of play to kind of try to catch as much as I can, honestly, and I, I think I've got a pretty good collection on the Pokedex. Still nowhere near as close to the end, there's so many rare ones, but uh, I'm, you know, I, I, I kind of, I'm just kind of like a casual fan of Pokemon, I guess. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawa naps while floating on the water, and it can use the shell-like, and it be can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. <laughs> plish plash! I'll never get over that plish plash. <laughs> oh my! I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How'd you go about catching Pokemon? Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. You take fifty, holy! Thank you, Professor. Man, that is a lot. I guess my pockets are bigger on the inside than the outside. Only thing I can think of is how I'm holding 50 of these things. A Pokeball. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's, what's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size? And that's where Pokeballs come in. Oh, okay, so they, uh, they, the Pokeballs are able to uh, shrink them and capture them. One of, that's like one of the popular theories on how Pokeballs actually work. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at, um, throw one of them at a Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you, uh, you've caught a Pokemon. I gotta get used to the reading system because it's it's like not going to the next it's going to the next line and not the next two, which is usually I think how some games do it. I know if we just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own desire to lack of skill in this area. Throwing, uh, throwing Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down R, uh, ZR to ready a Pokeball and take aim. Keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angles and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you ready the Pokeball, but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel throw. Okay, that's good. At least that now I know I don't need to waste uh, the Pokeballs. Let's see, I want to catch Oshawa. Oshawa's actually a really, uh, favorite of mine, honestly. Alright. Alright. Come here, Oshawa! Oh, I didn't mean to throw it so hard! Honestly, feel a little bad. I feel like I threw a little too hard. <gasps> yeah! First Pokemon! First try! Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you're quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Crashmaster. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yeah, Mark, so it is, um, this game has been out for quite a bit of time, and I do know a bit about it because I haven't seen any playthroughs, but I have seen videos on, on it a little bit, and, um, one of them is that this game does take place in the somewhat distant past, which is why he says Pokeballs are a recent invention, even though throughout the series, they have been a staple for quite a long time, and why these are kind of more made of wood, 
uh, basically an older, very first model, seemingly. I can hardly believe it, Crash Master. Incredible. You know, many people fail to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Yes, Professor, I think I shall. Well, I, say, I think I should say, I think we shall. Or I guess, accurately, I shall, because I'm, I'm catching them, but yeah, you know, I want to be nice. Alright, Rowlet, you're up next. Well, you're up last, I suppose. Huh. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! Huh. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% fool, uh, foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Yep, that is true, but uh, that's why there are a ton, and I mean a ton of other types. I wonder I wonder if this game will show us old models of all of them, like the Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball. That'd be actually really, really cool to see. Oh. Alright, come on. Oh, oh. Hey, there we go, second time, okay. There you go, Professor. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. That's very strange. Well, I must say, Crash Master, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably, um, well, ably, when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Hmm. Well, you do you know anything about this? Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Why, well, that's my working theory, Professor. If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the fields call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all re um, of all, uh, detailed of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. Uh, gotta get used to that, gotta get used to that. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs only have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. Situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Um, well, I suppose so. Don't think I'm really going anywhere for a while until I do, so you can count me on, uh, you can count me in Professor Laventon, uh, Laventon? I think I'm gonna say Laventon. Then whoever and from ever, you, uh, wherever you may be, I welcome you it with open arms. We've our Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. On one to Jubu Life, uh, Jubi Life Village. Well, yeah, that's very uneasy. That's not exactly screaming safe. I find it weird that nobody seemingly well. He's the only person I've met so far, Professor Laventon, but, uh, did he notice that? Or am I going crazy? Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was a great, was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Nice place. It is old school, but I like it. It's not bad. A bit of old school is actually pretty nice, in my opinion. This way, if you please. Uh, of course, Professor. 
Jubilife Village. It comes a long way thanks to the fine people of the... I wasn't fast enough. This road we're on now is known to locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Not that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall. Ha, huh, okay. Oh, botheration. I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. The map and markers. Use the button to view the map on your arc phone, and you can consult the map for guidance to your next destination, information on your missions and requests. You also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try spot one of these markers, then head for it. Alright, so I got myself a little uh, map slash GPS. That's good. An unfamiliar land. Head to the Wallflower, which serves as the village canteen. I'm assuming that's... I'm assuming with the canteen word, I'm assuming that's just like where people get the drinking water with the water wheel and stuff here. Uh, that's my assumption. I'm not sure. I could be entirely wrong. It's still there, Molly. It's, what is that? It's... Is that maybe some... My, my guess in logic would be... Scientific in logic would be that's maybe a portal that I can get back to wherever I came from. I don't know. But, uh... I got a lot of work to do. For all I know, there could be... Who knows how many Pokemon in this kind of, uh, era... Uh, well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The, the wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Yikes. Didn't have to be so mean about it. Rude. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You might, you might, you'd be mincing me in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Uh, yep. Perhaps you met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take and had to take to my bed. Ugh, that sounds nasty. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Yeesh. Fortunately, just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. <coughs> professor! But everything will be quite alright now. Crashmaster here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge whenever you like without Captain S uh, Silene's permission. I'll allow it. <coughs> Captain Silene! Okay, so I'm getting acquainted with everybody, it seems, pretty quickly. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Laverton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped through his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. <laughs> Sounds fair enough to me. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us. <laughs> without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Aha! Uh -huh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Uh, I, I get it. I understand. Aloof as always, I see. 
Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation there, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Professor Laverton, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the Space Time Rift? A <laughs> new friend fell right out of it. Okay, so I did fall out of it. So I gotta get back in. I gotta go back there. Well, I guess first I gotta capture the all Pokemon. First, I gotta catch all of them. Oh, this is gonna be a while. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe, uh, observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are. In the grass, in forests, by water, or whatever they like. Our job as a survey corpse is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I mean, not all of them look the friendliest, but a couple of them are pretty cute. But it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's what Crashmaster will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We had a hard enough time catching even one more wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Do the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your, your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fail, Crashmaster. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like a dream come true. The team provides for all of all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Crash Master has a trial to pass to join the service corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Crashmaster's skills. Why, thank you, Professor. That is very kind of you to say. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Crashmaster, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Uh, thank you, Silene. Uh, yeah, I very much appreciate it. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. Heh! <laughs> Right. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wild? What? But you, you're serious. <laughs> Captain Sidling, someone like Hisui, and that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stone front to help keep all of us safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I biff you both a good night. Good night, Professor. Yes, good night. Uh, you too, uh, Akari, good night. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yep. You can say that again, Akari. Head to the Survey Corps quarters, you've been assigned. Alright. Guess I go on this way. <sighs> well, at least I have uh, reassurance that tonight I can sleep and eat, but uh... Yeah. Well, I, I honestly really have no choice but to pass this thing. If I do, then uh... Well, I am probably Pokemon food. 
I need to get up there somehow, but uh, based on what technology they have here, I don't think I'm gonna get a plane or a helicopter, so gonna need to find a plan. Maybe hop on a Pokemon that can fly. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. Alright, looks like this is where I'm staying. Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarters. It's just a jug used to just store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling on it. What's this? Uh, a couple of pamphlets or books or something? Check Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open up uh, the menu, then go to the help screen. Okay. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent. Record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with ZL or R ZR uh, button until you reach the save screen. There's also an autosave function you can use to help your progress save automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Alright, sounds pretty good. I usually like uh, manual saving just because uh, it makes me feel a bit better just to make sure that uh, I don't always have to keep track of uh, my menu, like uh, the, the icon or anything like that. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Uh, can I? Uh, okay, not yet. Not quite just yet. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. It's a dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothes can be kept. Alright. Pretty self, uh, pretty self-explanatory in general. I'm um, just kind of looking around, just seeing what's going on. Also, I really, really do like these lamps. I actually have one similar to this mites in my actual room right now, but it's uh, it's a bit taller. It's actually uh, taller, and it doesn't have like the the cross section on all the sides. Um, but I really do like it um, very much. It's a full-length mirror. All right, so when I eventually get different clothing, I can change my outfit. That'd be nice because. Uh, when I was talking to a professor when I arrived in town, a lot of people were kind of looking at me weird. Might need to try to get something to blend in. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes. The next day. Good morning, Crashmaster. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. <sighs> yeah, morning stuff like that. Go to the Galaxy Team headquarters to hear about your trial trial from Captain Silene. Alright, uh, so I think that's gonna be it for now, mites. Um, I know we just started, but I don't want- I want to make sure the videos aren't too long. Usually when I start a, f a game for the first time, I do try to get a decent amount of time in, and then the rest of the videos are, you know, just kind of normal length, 20-ish minutes, uh, a little more, depending. But, uh, I think it's a good place to start. So, uh, here we go. Now saving your Pokemon Adventure. There we go. Save progress. Gonna save again, just to be safe, because that's how gamers are. We always gotta make sure. Uh, but, uh, alright, survey tips and, uh, some other stuff that I haven't unlocked yet, it looks like, but, uh, anyways, my lights, I gotta say, uh, very nice, the art style is, um, the style of this game, it is, it's a bit, I don't know if it's just me, I feel like it's a little weird, in a sense, like, it's not bad, I do actually like it, the style and the way everything is looking, but it's a bit off, I don't know if it's, like, the lining of the, of, of some of the stuff, I don't know if it's just me, um, but so I really need some socks or shoes or sandals. Well, I did have sandals, but uh, my just wanna. Where did I put them? Did I put them in? Where did I put them? Uh, okay, I'll worry about that when I when I leave. But um, for now, mites. Um, I don't know. I gotta say. Um, I I do have an idea of of just uh, just about what the game is. Like it takes place in the past, the Hisui region. Which um, let me actually see. Is it? I think it's a uh, what is it? Like um. 
Let me see. Uh, I'm looking at the case right now. It just says Hasui region. I think it's a. It's it, since this is set back in the past. I think it's supposed to be like an older version of like a uh, like pa like a past version of like Sinnoh or Hoenn or one of those regions. I don't. I don't remember. Um, I might need to go back and watch the the brief video. Re uh, like not recap the brief video I saw that explained like uh, some of it. Um. Just for like more context, so hopefully I'll, I'll I, I can talk about that in the next video. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I gotta say, so far very very nice. I can't wait to actually explore more of the region and like uh, catch more Pokemon, see what's going on with that lightning strike that looked kind of crazy. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It would be very 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 much appreciated. And I will see you all later. Let them